For some businesses, solar renewable energy certificates can be a more accessible way to support and reap the benefits of clean energy. Stick around because today you'll learn all about how SRECs work and how you can buy, sell, and earn them. Hi, I'm Victoria, and welcome back to Going Solar with Pivot Energy, where we cover all things solar energy, commercial solar, financial incentives, and community solar. While businesses starting their clean energy journey are often aware of the environmental benefits of solar and the effect it will have on their utility bill, the value of SRECs tends to be less common knowledge. SRECs are a credible and simple way to support clean energy without needing to install an on-site solar system. Let's get right into it. SRECs, or Solar Renewable Energy Credits, are a type of environmental commodity that's earned by generating electricity from solar energy. They're a credible market-based representation of the environmental attributes of renewable energy, and they're created and sold separately from the electricity produced by a solar system. SRECs are used as a way to incentivize the development and use of solar energy. They're a simple way for commercial buildings and corporations to claim their support for clean energy without needing to install solar. Plus, going green improves the business's image, which attracts investors, tenants, and a new generation of customers. In fact, 79% of young people today report changing their buying habits based on a company's environmental impact. To learn more, watch our video on the benefits of SRECs. It's linked in the description. Businesses that earn SRECs from an on or off-site clean energy project can choose whether to keep them or to sell them for cash. Businesses that don't participate directly in clean energy projects can buy them on the market. Many companies opt to keep and retire their SRECs because it allows them to claim the positive environmental impact of a solar system. But don't worry, we'll get into earning, buying, and selling more in a bit. So where are these SRECs created, stored, bought, and sold? That's where registries come in. Registries are responsible for administering two different rec markets, and they're in place all across the country. The first one is the voluntary corporate market. It's for businesses with high sustainability goals that want to utilize their recs to make claims related to environmental impact. The Green E standard, which is administered by the Center for Resource Solutions, provides some third-party oversight in the voluntary rec market that is separate from the rec registries. Then there's a market for utility companies that need to meet their renewable portfolio standard obligations. The utility will buy recs from solar projects so that they can hit their government mandated renewable energy quotas, which varies by state. Many states now have renewable portfolio standards that require utilities to meet a set percentage of renewables that often increase over time or else they pay penalties. Some municipalities even have clean energy policies for commercial buildings, so now is the time to go solar. Now that you know about REC registries, it's important to know that there are also different types of RECs. On the national level, there are generic green e RECs that are relatively inexpensive but tend to have the lowest level of impact impact on businesses' environmental goals. That's mostly because the market is highly saturated by the country's large supply of wind power. Then there are high impact RECs, which can be claimed by companies directly buying into clean energy projects that haven't been built yet. By financially supporting a project before it's been built, you can have a higher positive impact on the planet. This is called additionality, aka the additional reductions achieved by a project compared to what would have happened if the project wasn't carried out. This is crucial for the quality of carbon offset credits. Need guidance on all of this? Feel free to reach out to us at Pivot Energy so you can make a more confident rec decision. More on that in a minute, and if you've learned something new in this video, give it a thumbs up. There are several ways to obtain SRECs, like installing an on-site solar project and registering it to a rec registry. For every megawatt hour of electricity that your solar panel system generates, you earn one SREC. These SRECs can be sold to utilities or other companies that are required to meet certain renewable energy goals. If you're not financially ready to start a commercial solar project, or you don't have the space for solar, another way to start receiving SRECs is by signing a Virtual Power Purchase Agreement, or VPPA for short. Instead of installing an on-site solar system with electricity delivered directly to your facility, the solar developer builds an off-site installation that delivers clean energy to the power grid. The VPPA contract establishes a financial swap exchanging a fixed price cash flow for a variable priced cash flow plus the SRECs associated with their share of the project's generation. Once you get your SRECs, You'll have the option to retire them and claim the environmental benefits, or you can sell them. We'll cover how you can do that in just a minute. And if you want to learn more about VPPAs, check out this video, which is linked in the description below. We'll talk more about carbon neutrality, net zero, 
and carbon offsets in a future video. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you don't want to miss it. Okay, moving on. If you're not interested in using SREX to claim impact, you can opt to sell them on the market, kind of like stocks. By selling the SREX that your solar project generates, you can offset the cost of your investment and even potentially earn a profit. This can help make solar energy more affordable and accessible for facility managers, allowing them to support clean energy while also reducing their operating costs. On the other hand, when you retire your credits, you earn the right to the positive environmental impact of the clean energy project. It's important to point out that you lose the ability to make environmental claims if you sell or otherwise relinquish your SRECs. If you recall, SRECs are held in registries and currently most REC transactions are handled by brokers and developers because it's a relatively new market. The price of an SREC varies on the market, how many are purchased, and geographical location. One thing to note is that the markets specifically for SRECs exist only in a handful of states. As of now, participating markets include pretty much all of the Mid-Atlantic and New England, parts of the Midwest. If your organization is interested in buying or selling SRECs, you can go to a broker or try to navigate the SREC marketplace on your own. But it can get confusing, which is why at Pivot, we make it easy for businesses to earn, buy, and sell SRECs. If you're ready to explore SREX, let us help. Pivot Energy is a turnkey solar company that can set you up with a VPPA or launch your on-site solar project so you can start reaping the benefits of SREX. Remember how I mentioned high impact RECs? We can help you earn those too. We work with REC registries across the country to translate the impact of a given solar project into credits. Then we transfer them to you for an agreed upon price. Or we can retire the credits for you so that you can easily claim the environmental impact. If you're interested in working with our experienced team, head over to pivotenergy.net. You can also leave any questions you have in the comments below or message me directly using my email listed in the description. If this video helped you understand how SREX work and how you can take advantage of them, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss our videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.